I can understand. Wait, 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 what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth! To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimonies, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy! Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's got to be a story behind that one. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes, we worked. We first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? What? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. What? You never know. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Come on, can't he take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Oh, God. Okay, so... We present trophy. So, in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why's that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, correct? Where, you know, where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? So, talk and a new thing gave a cry. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transfer. Wiping your hands off old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review at awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edward pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. <laughs> the only thing I trust is solid evidence. This is the parking stub from the underground parking lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. What, what? I'd appreciate it if you'd direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. 
Um. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence on the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. This is going to come back to bite me in the ass. Sir, but, but sir, I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement with us, sir. Give me your name. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right. Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. But, sir, I, I d didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent the day they gave out brains and good luck. Right? Yes, sir. God, he got me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Right? The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. Okay. So let's go to the police department. Whew. We're finally here. Why would they put the detective so far away from the prosecutor's office? That took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and tax and traffic wasn't even that bad. This is my first time to the police department, actually. Hold on, what's that? Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? Oh wait, I know. This is the Blue Badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the Blue Badger. Who's that next one? Someone appears to be dancing with the Blue Badger? Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. <laughs> hey, pal, what are you doing here? That's my, that's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why are you dancing over there? What? Um, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know, I'm a very busy man, pal. Let's examine... Blue Badger. Uh, I was wondering about that. What? The dancing Blue Badger? It's my masterpiece. You made this detective, don't you? The chief threw together some designs, and I just did my thing, pal. Nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dance, dance, dances until the batteries die. Poor Blue Badger faded to dance until he drops. Okay, so let's clock. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend a suspect in this case. Well, why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no, come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was fake? Hey, pal. Can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect, Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister? Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically! 
Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just, it's a sensitive issue, guys. So, what are you doing here, Detective Ashu? Me? Oh, well, nothing really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true, we've never had a chief prosecutor mind to anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important file, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pat. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall is assigned to underground parking lot. Officer Marshall. Now that I think about it, Ina did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene. It's unhurried of, pal. Okay, so we are now going to accept the ID. Um, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. He has to turn it into police. It's people like you that get me in so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop this card a lot. Hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. But don't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Whoa! Now I remember! Bruce Goodman! He's the victim! That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Heck, yes. So this ID card belonged to the victim. He was a detective, like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm, do you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been in the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferal? Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... What it is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the park. And Lana's confessing as much. Okay, so... We can present a couple more things. First off, the trophy. Hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday! Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, Pale! I got an award for diligence myself! Ah, congratulations! I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason! Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. He will remember later, though, or we will remember. We'll figure it out later. But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award! He's even got my naysayers in the pro uh, he's even got naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we've heard about the rumors. Now, is that the knife? Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car. A stab uh, a stab with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean I'm I mean Sure, of course someone else really did it. Someone who must have... Um, someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. 